Hey Clashers, a viewer of mine had a really really cool idea of adding a healer into the Super Archer Blimp. The good thing about this is that you can now land on top of a poison tower without having any problems whatsoever. And in addition to that, we do not have to worry about Lecto Titans anymore. Because with the healer, all of our troops are going to stay alive. And because the clone spell will always clone the troop with the least amount of housing space, the Super Archers are always going to be cloned. With those two important things, we only have to worry about giant bombs because that would be a really, really bad thing to land on those. So as long as we are careful of that, we should be good to go. So let's try it out in Legend. Okay, we have a ring base, so nothing too crazy. The only problem here now is with ring base, and that's why I would love to test this now, is that in ring base, a lot of times in the core, there's a lot of empty spaces for giant bombs, which makes this sometimes really, really risky. I think what I would like to do, though, is I would like to get close or next to that monolith. Let's see if we can get there. That's the question. I think I will angle the blimp a little bit, just a little bit from over here. Then the blimp, the warden, perfect. Now let's hope that we're getting close to that monolith. That would be at least the ideal thing. And yes, we actually got there. Great, clone really quick. Then the next invisibility. One, two, three, and four. And yes, some archers has, have already taken some damage. Now remember, they're getting healed back up. Next invisibility spell. One, two, three, and four. Turning them invisible again. Raging them up again. One, two, three, and four again. Turn them invisible again. I think the next time I try to turn that ice golem invisible, so maybe we get the inferno tower as, as well. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, perfect. Now we even have like a small super archer charge. Not really. <laughs> but hey, now we are starting on this left side. I think right here. Wait, the healer actually survived. That's kind of funny. Okay, so the, the healer can actually help my push. Queen behind. Now some super barbarians. I'm trying to war break in here. Perfect. Has it has worked. I'm just trying to keep adding the power. As soon as that wizard tower is down, I think we might oh wait. Actually, oh the king is coming back. That's perfect. Now the hat hunter. I hope that the wizard tower is going down quickly so the war break should perfectly target or hopefully better target a good wall. That's nice. Okay, so wall break has worked. Now the king ability, and now we're adding a lot of super barbarians on this left side, and the same, or the same as my royal champ. Some more from this side. We're really, really trying to overpower this now. There's some openings in the base to make queen charges more annoying for us right now. It's really nice because it leads everything more and better into the base itself. And this right now looks really, really solid. So even though I thought we would have maybe had some problems with the openings and walls and stuff because of well the the open space and maybe more giant bombs and stuff but to be honest i did not even really notice that which uh kind of is a good thing for this for this blimp so really really nice right i mean this is a complete overkill right this is a complete overkill even though ring bases typically are really good for this strategy anyways but overall it has worked perfectly if there would have been a titan inside the clan castle, the regular blimp could have had some problems because the titan would have been lured exactly from this clan castle to the bottom side where the warden started. So this would have been one of the setups where I would have for sure in clan war, for example, would have preferred this exact blimp, I think, because the titan is complete nonsense versus the healer, right? Because the titan is non-stop healing the super archer. So even if the titan is on top, of your super archers, they're staying alive. So that's quite nice. But for us, let's just keep moving and let's just try it again. Okay, we have our next base. What is our option right here? I think landing on top of the clan cast would be pretty insane, but there's the sweeper right pushing against it. So something I would like to try maybe, if we land on top of that cannon, and we're back, like, I think, oh wait, I think this cannon should be pretty insane. I will show you exactly why, but we have to get the right angle. I think from here, this blimp should be pretty OP because if we land onto the cannon, we should have an insane angle for that town hall, just like that. Now turn everything invisible, rage it, clone it, everything. Two, three, four, perfect. Take a look at that. All of those expos are taken care of. 
like nothing with this angle. That's perfect. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, rage it up again. Three, four. Tunnel should be the next on the menu. Perfect. One, two, three, and four again. Perfect. Nice. Can we even get the eagle? That would be pretty nice. Come on, come on. One more shot. And what? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Okay. How can we take that out? That, not gonna lie, that kind of sucks. Um, just hope for the best and give it a try. Where can we wall break in here, maybe? I think that should work, right? Wall break in there. Push everything back in. Tighten in there. Then one more wall break to get even further. Wait, how is that king now getting targeted? I had so many troops in front of it. Whatever, I think we should be fine though. So, king, everything is pushing in there. That's good to go. How do we approach this back end? There's still like some troops on the top side. Let's just take that out. I think three super barbarians should be completely fine there. Queen ability already used. Two more wall breaks. One wall break here. And now we have a lot of barbarians to push in there. Come on, come on. One more wall break there. And then as soon as that multi inferno tower is gone, I think we can just add the Royal Champion. And then add all of those nice headhunters into the mix. Come on, come on. As soon as the bomb tower, bomb tower go down. Headhunters in there as well. Just put all of them in there. Then we should be good to go, shouldn't we? Perfect. This is why the Super Archer Room is just so, so strong versus those bases where you can abuse the angle of the super archer arrows it's just perfect roger ability now let's clean things up and that's a gg for this base perfect i think the super archer um blimp with the healer version was not too important on this one maybe if there would have been electro titan in there but i feel like overall this blimp is mainly to counter like in mid and lower trophy ranges, the Electro Titan in the defensive clan castle, for example, that's where it's really good. Or for example, if you're facing a clan um, in the clan war league or in the clan wars, where you have seen already some of your uh, like opponent clan castle troops are Electro Titans, then you might want to switch to this. But hey, let's give it another try and let's keep going. Another poison tower base. So where do we go with this one? We might even be able to land right on top of the poison tower. Should that be possible? We could even land in front of the poison tower because this base is not really having the right distance, I think, between the town hall. Oh, I think the distance should be all right. Let's just give it a try anyway. So just from over here with the blimp, with the warden in there, the ability just like that. Perfect, perfect. Now the poison should go off any second now. Perfect. And we can just land in their rage clone. Next invisibility. One, two, three, and four. Turn everything invisible again. And just keep going like that. One, two, three, four. Rage up again and turn everything invisible again. So at this point we're getting, we have got already a lot of value. So at this point, it's only the tunnel which we really need. There were some mortar shots and stuff on my troops. Because of the healers, I don't care. So we can delay the the invisibility spells just a tiny bit longer than he, we could have usually done. So that's nice for us. Now the wall break in there. Ice Golem, Super Barbarians. There are many troops in there. We are good to go. Wall break in here. And then we should be able to wall break at the warden. That's our next target. Right, maybe two for the defending queen. We have still king and royal gem on the back end, so we have to be careful with our headhunters. We don't want to overplace them or like place too many of them. And we have to get the wall break right out. Do we even have to wall break? Wait a second, I don't think we have to wall break here, guys. I think we can just wall break at the at this corner. <laughs> That's totally fine to get the king out again. And then we have one more wall break. How can we place that wall break to get the most value? Maybe place the wall break at this corner of the elixir collector. Because this should give us access towards the single phone tower. That's good for us. Let's double check the chop side. I think we can already... Maybe use the Roy champion there. That might be a good thing. So let's just do that. Some barbarians. Roy champ. That's good for us. Oh, that was the tornado trap, actually. Okay, so we were actually able to 
dodge the bait. That's cool. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Now the Mad Hunter in there. Okay. Queen is on the wall, which is... Oh, oh, wait. That might be not good. Oh, no. That Royal Chairman has to get that. Okay, okay. Wait a second. How can we do this now? Oof. I'm not sure, Mad Hunter. Royal Champ ability. Come on, come on, please. That Royal Champ ability was quite nice. But we have to get this Arch Tower out of the way because our Queen won't be able to reach that. So, come on, please. There's some more giant bombs and stuff. But now that should be enough. That should be enough for sure, right? 10 seconds. How many skeletons are there? Archers? Come on. 5, 4, 3, 2, no. The spear was under. Are you kidding me? But yeah, overall, I think this blimp is quite strong. Surprisingly so, I have to say, because the first time I saw this, I thought this would be like a complete joke. Um, I would have not expected that it's working at all. But actually, versus Poison Towers, versus the Electrotite and stuff, versus Clan Castles like those, it is actually pretty good. So if you want to give it a try, feel free to do so. The, pretty much the link is the same army link as I have used the last time with the Super Barons, but the... Um, the blimp is different. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how it works for you. I think overall, the difference is kind of... Um, you can notice the difference the most in Clan Wars or Clan War League matches where you can adapt on the base. I feel like that's the best thing. I think in Legends, with the wall breaks and the goblins, the regular Super Archer blimp might be still a little bit more versatile. But this one is for sure, especially in lower ranges, like lower trophy ranges where a lot of Poison Towers are getting used really really solid and there's a lot of electric titans as well um so i think versus those spaces this blimp is better otherwise thank you so much for watching i will see you guys back tomorrow with the next class video and then see ya and bye bye